Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Review Sub Channel. In this video, we will just perform filter functionality using React.js. This is a food app. We have different foods, so now we will perform the filter functionality and these. So these are the filter functionalities that we will perform. If we press the breakfast, it will show just breakfast, foods, lunch, just lunch, dinner, just related to dinner, snacks, and also if we press all, it will display all the data to us. So now in this uh, video we will perform this functionality. So let's get started. Before starting, if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe it. Let's get started. So we will just create this uh, food uh, filter app using React.js. Uh, first of all, we will just create our React app. Let's move to the terminal. In the terminal, let's uh, just uh, write npm create wait okay so let's press enter so it will create uh, our react app using webjs so let's assign project name which is filter app press enter yeah the same and let's select react in javascript and let's move to the filter app uh, inside that let's wrap npm install so it will install all the packages and dependencies yeah the packages uh, the npm dependencies has installed so now we will install uh, one another package bootstrap uh, library mm. uh, the bootstrap is used for designing and let's install that install bootstrap the bootstrap has installed uh, now let's um, run our server npm run dev so it will run our react app let's move to this uh, route yeah this is our new created react app so let's come here to the src folder and i will remove all the default code it warp the gsx remove this one and also all this code so let's get started our code now in this after gsx first of all let's first import bootstrap import bootstrap CSS slash bootstrap dot main dot CSS so use for designing purpose uh, but before everything we should uh, have our uh, data okay to display the data first of all we want to display that data so let's uh, uh, copy that data so let's create a new component here data dot JSX and I have copied the data this is our data that we will display okay this is for the image and description uh, price category and title and also the id we have team foods in that this is our data now let's import it inside our app.j6 data So let's create a state variable const item set items we equal to u state. So we will assign our data to this. Our data is stored now in this uh, variable. Last name. Class name container float. Row. So let's have an H1 tag. Inside that we will have food filter up. Let's assign some classes to this course of classes. Uh, text center. Call twelve. 
and uh, font weight bold margin and top and the bottom margin that would be like uh, weekend margin top three margin bottom five So now under this we will display all our reports. So to display that for that we need to create one another component. So let's name it car.j6. Car.j6 or FCE. Let's import it inside of that J6. Import card from car.j6 and let's use it here and we will pass uh, this data okay item to that after passing that let's come here to the card and in card let's distract them first of all item and we will display them here let's start here a class name Class name container class name uh, row and also justify content I content center. And after that, let's uh, display our data. Item dot map. We will use map function for displaying the data. Here we will get a value. Now let's use a do element. Key is equal to with value dot id. This is the key and let's add a class name to this call uh, we will add just uh, greater to display them to be responsive the card, these cards uh, for md medium devices uh, it will take four size and for small devices it will take six size and um, let's add a um, yeah, add card a class name this is bootstrap uh, class name okay bootstrap card and margin y is 3 and also border 0 and after that let's come here we will create one another div element card img top and text center inside this we will display our image and the source is the value value dot uh, image let's check the data yeah img name is img img let's add a class name width 75 now let's create one another new element Add a class name card body. Create one another div element. Add a class name to this, uh, which is card title. And font weight, font weight bold. And font size four. And inside this, we will display our title. Let's display value dot title. And after that, uh, we will display value dot uh, our price. And down, we will create one another div element from this. Let's create that here for the description. And add a class name card text to that card text. Let's display the text now. Value dot text uh, description. D E S C. 
So we have displayed all these things. So now let's check it how it looks like. So let's move to the our app. See, it looks like this. See, these are our ports which we have displayed, and this is for for filter in the title app. app. So now the mm, other functionality is that to add here the buttons to just filter these ports. Okay, we will add here a few um, uh, buttons according to these categories. Okay, these categories. Then whenever which category we click, we should display that category um, detail or ports. So for that we need to create one another component buttons dot jsx inside it we will display all the buttons let's add a class name here that is uh, this would be display would be plex and justify content justify content center uh, and after that we will display our buttons so to display the buttons we need to pass them from our app.j6 to this buttons component then we will display them here let's come here to how our separate our buttons so let's create our variable here uh, const menu items is equal to so we let's create an array and use predefinite new and set this set is used to just take unique values okay let's now um, pass here data dot map and here we will get uh, um, value return value dot category so from categories it will return it with this set will just uh, take the unique values from that and store them in menu items so now let's uh, pass them to the buttons so here we will just import the buttons component buttons okay now let's uh, pass the menu items menu items is equal to menu items let's distract them just come here menu items and here we will display those uh, um, buttons so let's use that menu items that map we will get a value here and here we will just display the buttons let's add class name to buttons and that is button dark we will color it background will be dark and text white and also parting one and parting x would be two on the x side and margin x would be five uh, button and also font weight would be bold now let's display the text that is value dot uh, category it's just value okay we will just display the value we will create one another button under uh, these buttons that would be for all okay to filter all data let's come here and create that here and that would be all so now let's check it how it looks like our buttons yeah, these are our buttons and the looks like this uh, let's add some space to them just come here that is margin bottom margin bottom would be two yeah they looks like this now okay so now whenever we press all these button they should uh, filter the data based on that so let's add filter functionality now so for the filter functionality we will come here to the app and here we will create the filter function first of all let's create that const we will just create a filter items is equal to so here uh, we will just pass our category and after passing our category to this function we will just filter that data we will create a new item new items is equal to okay we will create a new list we will filter our data data dot filter we will apply filter function on that 
filter and we will get here new value and new value we will return all those uh, um, categories which are new value dot category is equal to equal to with category okay the category that we has passed okay this will this filter function will just return all those data which are uh, equal with this category okay which are the same which has the same category they will store that in this new items now we will call this set items set items and we will pass our new items to that so it will change this data based on that category so now let's pass this filter items to the buttons filter items filter items and also we will pass this set items this set items would be for uh, uh, all function okay, for all button okay set items just come here to the buttons and distract them filter items and set items now whenever we press click on this button on click so we will call the filter items filter items and then we will just pass uh, our value or category to that and this should be in a row function and also let's pass also on this one we will just click on click and we will call sit items sit items to the data let's import the data import data from dot slash data so whenever we press the all button so it will just pass this data otherwise if we press another button it will filter that based on that category so let's check it how it uh, perform the functionality so let's first of all press this breakfast see just these three as game lunch dinner snacks and all see all categories data as displayed to us So it was all about filter app using ReactJS in the filter functionality that we have applied. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.